Now, you know, Messi's 35, going to be 36. He waited on Barcelona. They would not, you know, were, they're not able to afford him, right? Point blank. They just can't afford him. And there are too many variables there. Now, is Messi really going to go to the Premier League at 35 or actually 36 in about a week or two? Highly unlikely, right? Highly unlikely. He spoke about, uh, you know, Paris not being the best of times for him there, for him or his family. And he, he said, if I'm going to take the money, if, I, if it was a money thing, I would go to Saudi Arabia. And it's not a money thing. So his options were either wait for Barcelona, which that offer might never come. Because as I said, there's too many variables. Who knows if they could even afford him. Two, go to the Premier League at 36, which in all likelihood is not probably something he wanted to do for many reasons as well, right? Culture, adaptation, his family. And then what? Does he wait to potentially maybe get an offer somewhere from Italy or Germany? Probably not. So Europe is out of the question. To go to Saudi Arabia and to refuse reportedly a billion dollars is insane. Yet Messi did that. And now if we're looking at it from a business standpoint, from a family standpoint, from a business standpoint, Inter Milan makes a lot of sense. A lot, a lot of sense. And I'm going to get to that in just a second. But before I do, let me go back to the chat here. Uh, here we go. So Silvia, Silvia, Noriega. Hello, Silvia. Thank you for joining. Silvia says this move is more about his family. He wants to be able to spend time with them without the pressure of winning another trophy. So this is certainly something, right? Spending time with the family. This is something Messi spoke about when he made his announcement earlier today uh, in an interview with Mundo Deportivo. So I love this. Yes, Silvia, thank you, thank you. You know, I spoke about this on, on Twitter. I briefly mentioned it. Messi's 35, going to be 36. He does not need our approval. He doesn't need anyone's approval to say, oh, well, you know, he did not or he will not have cemented his legacy or he would have tarnished his legacy if he leaves Europe and doesn't go to Barcelona and ends up going to the MLS. No, he doesn't need that. At 35 or 36, he has a family. He needs to think of them as well. It's not just himself. You know, should he think of his fans or something else? That's a whole other issue. That's a whole other thing. We're talking about Messi, the person, not just Messi, the athlete, right? Because sometimes as fans, we get so caught up and we get so sentimental and emotional, right? The, the love story between Messi and Barcelona, we know it, right? And if we wanted that happy ending, Messi would have gone back to Barcelona for sure, right? Like that would have happened. The deal, Barcelona would have been able to, to afford him and bring him in. But, you know, we live in a world where happy endings don't necessarily always, you know, happen. And in this case, it didn't. Messi found another club, right? And business-wise, this is massive. This is absolutely massive. And, and I was just going to get to this, Calvin. Exactly. So much respect came from Leo, right? And to read this comment by Calvin, Calvin says, I like how Leo conducted this. He cleared up everything. Of course, the media will always spread lies and do everything for clicks. Leo did the right thing for him and for his family. And this is exactly it. Messi wasn't coming out every couple of days and making a statement and saying, I'm waiting for this and I'm waiting for that and Laporta didn't give me this and Xavi said that. No, no, no. He kept quiet. The time came. He released the statement and that's it. So, you know, Messi's looking at it from, as I said, not just an athletic standpoint, but from a family standpoint and as well business-wise, right? Business-wise, this is huge. This is the biggest transfer deal in the history of Major League Soccer. This, in my opinion, surpasses David Beckham when he signed for the Los Angeles Galaxy in 2007. And that was big and that was massive in its own right. For me, Messi, just a little bit higher, right? Just a little bit more. And, you know, yeah, well, there you go, uh, Rian. Rian said, so sad, I wanted one more season in Europe. I would have loved to have seen Messi one more season in Europe. Don't get me wrong, don't get me wrong. But when we look at, you know, what I just mentioned in terms of Barcelona not able to afford him and is he really going to go to another league at 36 and bring his family over and having, you know, they have to adapt and having to adapt for what, a season or two, it's, not, it's maybe not worth it for them, right? And these are decisions that tend to be made as a family. And Messi joining Inter, Mil uh, Inter Milan, Inter Miami, sorry. Messi joining Inter Miami for sure was something that was influenced by his family. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. There's not, nothing wrong with that whatsoever. And as a deal, I mentioned business. Well, business-wise, 
if we talk very quickly about what was mentioned, right? There was an article, a great article, uh, informative one, right, by The Athletic, and, and they released this news. They kind of broke the news on Tuesday night. Uh, the Athletic said something along the lines of, and I'm paraphrasing here, but, you know, he's going to get a percentage of the profits from Apple. And then Adidas, right? He's going to get a cut from Adidas as well. So this is huge business-wise. This is massive. Is this going to hit the billion-dollar mark that was reportedly rumored from Saudi Arabia? Who knows? Maybe in two, three, four, five years from now, they'll have pocketed that much. Maybe not. I, I don't know, right? Time will tell, I guess. But in this case, financially, as a business-wise, it makes a lot of sense. Family-wise, it makes sense. And in terms of the player, well, look, if he's not going to play in Europe, and he said it himself, he doesn't really want to play elsewhere in Europe if it's not Barcelona, then that's it. He's going to have to go elsewhere. And that's what he did, right? That's what he did. And good for him. Good for him.